Huh. All right. Hello. Wait, I feel like I... It's... Lipstick. Just trying. Also, I can definitely tell that I took my shoes off because my feet smell very bad. Because they sweat. Throwback to video number one. My feet get super sweaty when I walk a lot. Design thinking. It's all, it's all interconnected. Oh my god, I have such a bad case of the Monday. <laughs> and it's perfect. For this video, I am going to play a couple of games and essentially review them and talk about the things that like, yes, that I liked and didn't like, but more so, um, three things I'm gonna focus on when I play these games. And they are as follows. Hold on. One, the game verb. Two, the limited resources you had as a user. Three, the takeaway. So as I'm working through the different games, those will be the things I have on my mind and those are the things I'll hopefully be centering my comments around and I'm sure I will edit out a lot of my like unnecessary comments that are not <laughs> related to those three key points. So let's do it. Okay, so the first game we're going to play is Heart Saber. Okay, so this was made, I assume, to bring attention to the inequality in terms of access to emergency health care. Okay. Your mission, save as many heart attack victims as possible by getting them to the best emergency room in time. And then there are different hospitals have different heart attack care ratings. Oh god, so, okay, so, okay. Below average, average, above average. Oh, I think, I feel like this is going to be stressful. I feel like probably not everyone lives right next to a above average hospital. That's my guess. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my gosh, okay. God. F. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh. Oh no, no, I think I'm messing it up. Hold on, hold on. I need to, I need to restart. Oh my god, no, 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 no. We, we try again, we try again. Zoomed out, so we're ready to really play the game. So I can see who survived and who has to die. I don't like that. Okay, so let's start the game. Okay, this person, oh man, did it. Oh my god, one person already died. Oh god. Oh, okay, Megan. Okay. Oh my gosh, everyone, I need you to stop doing that. Oh, that was totally the wrong call. These hospitals are so spread out and not everyone's close. Oh my god. I didn't save that person. 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 I didn't save Oh my god, there's so many of them. There's so many of them. There's so many of them. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I literally cannot even keep track. Where are you guys coming from? Who? <sighs> One person survived? So. That was very stressful, and it was just a game, and I cannot imagine the stress first responders are under all the time, so I don't know if any first responders are watching this, but if you are, thank you for all your work, and I aspire to be as good as you are at life. Um, okay, so let's now go back to what I have to talk about. One, the game verb. So what's at stake? Everyone's lives. Everyone's lives are at stake. Literally everyone is having a heart attack and everyone's lives are at stake. Like that is, a, that's a pretty high, it's a pretty high bar. And the resource they have, uh, time in actual hospitals. And I feel like the quality of hospital, like I have a very small amount of above average hospital care available. So I feel like I have a three, a three pronged limited resource right here, which is, those, I mean, it makes sense that there can't be hospitals everywhere, but that definitely like leads into the takeaway of like, if you do not live in an area where you can easily be reached by a medical crew, an emergency medical crew, 
um, an ambulance, like your chances of survival are much, much lower. And that is not something I've really ever thought about is like getting, having actual access to emergency medical care and how like living a couple miles away or, or living a couple and living too far away can literally like be a life or death situation if you can't get the help that you need. And also if the hospital that you're closest to is below average in terms of their medical equipment and staffing and like the things that they can do. Um, so I didn't love that. All right. Let's do, you draw it. Oh, God. Jeez, I'm gonna be bad at this. Okay, so you draw it. What got better or worse during Obama's presidency? Draw your guesses in the charts below to see if you're as smart as you think you are. I am, no. What? I'm not as smart as I think. I think I'm a very medium amount of smart, and this is gonna make me feel even worse about that. It's gonna rattle my confidence. Dang it. I'm gonna do it. I mean, I have to. I don't have a choice, but I just am upset. Okay, it definitely went up because it was like, oh my god! And then it went. It was bad. It was bad. Then it went down. That seems right. <gasps> oh! That was kind of right. Well, I guess this means I'm a genius. Good news, mom and dad. I'm a genius. The number of immigrants convicted of crimes who were deported. Oh, I feel like this one. I feel like I remember talking about how the number of immigrant immigrants convicted of crimes who were deported went up. I feel like that's a very specific distinction that it was they were convicted of crimes. I feel like those went up during the Obama years. Let's see. I feel like it probably plateaued a little, maybe. Oh, God. Okay, okay, okay. Show me how I did. Okay, so, like, not, like, it wasn't as good as my first one, but it did, they did go up. So, not as much of a genius on this one, but medium. Okay, so now let's talk about our three things. What's at stake? I don't know, I feel like your pride. <laughs> okay, it's not that serious, but like, I mean, I think it depends on how you play. Like if you play with a group of people and everyone's like watching each other and you show each other like your lines that you draw. So I feel like there is a personal sense of like political knowledge that's at stake. Like thinking that you do or don't. Not that this is like representative of knowing everything that's happening in politics, obviously. And also this is like from a little bit ago, but um, I feel like that could be at stake possibly. The limited resources. I knew nothing. My brain was the limited resource. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I mean, I guess you could have cheated and looked at things on the internet, but like you had no information except for what you could pull from in your own mind and like things you've read and remembered and talked about. So that, I mean, you were kind of your own resource. I think the takeaway for me, one, I mean, I think it highlights the importance of being civically engaged just in terms of like knowing what's happening nationally and internationally. Um, and then also being aware of like the things you don't focus on and maybe why that is. So it's different for each person. Like there were definitely things that I felt more confident about in terms of my own personal focuses and areas of interest and maybe seeing how I can like broaden my horizons. So I'm more in tune with things holistically in terms of news and not just the things that I care to be interested in. So maybe that's a good takeaway. Yeah. Okay. See you soon.